Apple, are you on your way to Princessology? Briar, yes I am. Wanna walk together? Yeah, let's go. I could use a nap. Phew, just in time. Who's that? I don't recognize our teacher. Hey Apple, hey Briar, we have a substitute today. Who's our substitute? Apple and Briar, meet my mom, Queen Rapunzel. Good morning, princesses. Welcome to class. Maid Marian asked me to come and guest lecture today on Know Your Heritage Day. I have already met Ashlyn, daughter of Cinderella, and of course I know my own daughter, Holly. But who are you two? I'm Briar, daughter of Sleeping Beauty. And I'm Apple White, daughter of Snow White. Wonderful to meet you. Knowing your heritage is about fulfilling your future roles in your future fairy tales to the best of your abilities. That being said, we have a bed over here. Briar, since you'll be spending a lot of time sleeping as the future Sleeping Beauty, won't you kindly get started? Of course. See, Apple, I told you I was going to get a nap. Good night, guys. Great. Now, Apple, as you can see, I've prepared a section just for you. You're going to have to learn to keep house for seven dwarves. So, I see a lot of dust and a lot of dishes needing put away. Oh, um, how cute. I suppose I'd better get started putting dishes away and dusting. So sorry I'm late. What have I missed? Hello, and you are? I'm Duchess Swan, daughter of the Swan Queen. Oh, you're just in time. I was just about to hand Ashlyn her assignment. Ashlyn, you are going to have to serve some difficult people in your future. Why don't you serve Duchess here some tea? Well, being difficult shouldn't be too hard of a task for Duchess. Very well, Duchess. What would you like today? Bring me some tea right now, right this minute. <sighs> right away, Duchess. Here you are. Um, Mom, what should I do? Dear, you can do what you always do. Read. I've prepared a couple of books for you. After all, you have a lot of time to kill in the tower while waiting for your prince to show up. But Mom, these are the same two books I've already read, 17 times each. I understand, dear. But when you can say you've read each book a thousand times, that's when you're truly ready to become the next Rapunzel. Ta-ta, princesses. See you in an hour. Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. I've created a princessology classroom for my daughter's Ever After High dolls to help stimulate her imagination while playing with them. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. First, I decided to use this contact paper that I found in the basement of my house. Now, this must have been left over from when the people who lived here before me lived here. So I decided to cover all the pieces of the shelf before I put it together, so that after I put the shelf together, all of the contact paper would already be on all the surfaces. This is going to be my window frame, and I painted the window frame gold, and I found a calendar that my mom had given me, I think, and I decided to find the right picture for it. So it needs to be kind of the right sort of fairy tale-ish feeling. And I finally found this picture that I think will do nicely. So that's going to be my window in the Princessology classroom. Also found these decals. I can't remember, I think they were at Michael's or Joann's. And they say things like sparkle, shine, the queen and a twinkle. So I went ahead and put them onto the walls. And I've also glued my window to the wall. Now, I had to make another bed because you'll remember Briar uh, slept on it. So I decided to make a simple bed using two smooth foam blocks hot glued together and this silver and black fabric with roses on it. And I covered the two smooth foam blocks with it. Then I found this hot pink trim because, you know, Briar's colors are hot pink and black and silver. And for her blanket, I'm going to use this same fabric, except I'm going to cheat and hot glue this part back onto the main piece. 
then I'm going to trim both sides with the hot pink trim. Make it really simple, you know, because after all, this isn't her main bed. It's just her classroom bed. For her pillow, I'm taking a rectangle of the black and silver rose fabric, um, adding the pink trim with to one side, folding it all around, leaving a space in the middle for me to stuff. And I'm going to stuff it and then add a little rose petal spare part as decoration. This will be Briar's footboard. It's a piece I think um, that I also got from a craft store. Um, it's a wood plaque. And I painted it silver and added Mod Podge at the end. Then um, using the same decals that I got, that I showed you from uh, Jolie's boutique before, I'm adding a fairy tale princess and the crown to it, which is perfect obviously for a Sleeping Beauty bed and then added some more uh, paper roses. Then I took some dowel rods and I painted them black and then uh, wanted to give the dowel rods a little bit of decoration so I took a silver sharpie and I drew uh, slanted lines all around it to look like, I guess like thorns growing up over the dowel rods. The headboard is going to be this piece which I found in the fairy garden section at Joann's and then I bought some more uh, fabric roses. And so what I've done is I've hot glued the four dowel rods to the bed, as you can see. Then I hot glued the footboard to the very end of the bed, as you can see, and also the headboard in between the two dowel rods. See, I think that works out nicely as a headboard. Then I added the fabric roses as if they were kind of climbing up the silver vines and I added them to the headboard and the dowel rods. And we are pretty much done. We just need to add on the blanket and the pillow. There, Briar Beauty now has a second bed to use for her princessology classroom. So let's go ahead and shove this bed into the corner of the princessology classroom. For the apple white section of the classroom, I bought some furniture in 1 12th scale. So that is half the size of an Ever After High doll, which is generally 1 6th scale. So there's a little hutch. And then these are some miniature tables and chairs. Well, miniature chairs and table that I actually stole from my daughter's Calico Critters playset, which hopefully she won't figure out. But if she does figure it out, we'll just go ahead and put it back. No worries. To make her a classroom sign, I took a little portable chalkboard and I wrote on it, Princessology class, know your heritage. And we can go ahead and stand that up against the back wall of the classroom. There we go. And this is actually just the tea table um, from the Lottie Da doll playset. I believe it's called Garden Party. And it's just the two chairs and the table from the playset. Oh, and the piece of fake shrubbery. I also made a set of curtains. These are very simple. I just took a popsicle stick, painted it gold, added gold fabric around it, added some frills around the fabric, added some paper roses to it, and there are the curtains. This is a couch that I bought off of eBay. I chose it because it's black and pink, which are exactly Briar's colors. I'm gonna add on these pieces of roses to make it look like I guess rose pillows and go ahead and shove that to the back of the classroom as well. This is a piece from Holly O'Hare's um, room, I guess from the Ever After High castle, two-in-one castle playset. And these are some pieces I created just to be, just to make it look like there are princess relics. Um, that's a rose I put into a glass tube and then the uh, glass slipper to look like that was Cinderella's glass slipper and that was the rose from Beauty and the Beast. And then this is an Aurora costume from the Disney Aurora doll. So I decided to hang this up on the wall to make it look like it's a collection of um, princess relics. So there you have it. That's my daughter's new princessology classroom. I would love to know what you guys think. And in the meantime, I'm going to do a shout out. I'd like to do a shout out to Jennifer Rowe. Thank you for watching my channel and thank you for asking for a shout out. For those of you who want a shout out, please go ahead and put it in the comments. 
and I'll be back with more fun videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.